Hi guys, I'm back. And today we're going to do something a little different. I haven't tried it before, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, this is a cup that I just cut the bottom out of and flipped it over. And we're going to pour white paint on here and white paint in the middle. And then layer the colors in there. And hopefully the idea is that they'll sort of pour out kind of under the white, maybe. I don't know. So we're just going to get started. Um, I've got some apple barrel colors here. I've got some artist loft mixes. So all I can tell you guys is just use your own color palette. Um, <laughs> because these paints have been mixed so much that I, you know, I don't even remember what is still in them. So, and this white is just a mixture of all sorts of things. So we're just going to pour this around the white. Hopefully not on the white cup there. And we have the, the canvas at an angle. This corner is up higher than this corner. So hopefully, you know, in theory, the paint will sort of go underneath. Hopefully the dogs are going crazy. I'm not sure why. I'm going to start with just a little bit of this dark blue. My cup is already moving, so I have to kind of hold it. Oops, that was a lot of green. I'm starting to think maybe I should have put some silicone in these colors, but I didn't do it, so we're just going to leave it as is. And I don't see any colors coming out, so they may be a little too thick. I don't know. <laughs> it just wants to slide down this way. Ah, the colors are coming out. They're just really super thick. We're going to kind of hold that, keep it from going anywhere. Let's do the green. Let's do, oh, now you can see some cells coming up through there. Let's do a little bit more of this orangey, peachy color. It's more this dark. Okay. That should really be plenty of paint for this because now it's like starting to go over. <laughs> okay, we're going to flatten that out. So that all the paint does not go off of this side. Look at the cells that came up there. They're really pretty. We're going to kind of drag this that way. seeing if the, you know, they'll come out the other side under that white. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just kind of drag that off. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> I really don't know what to do with it now. Um, 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 um. I need to get these corners, obviously, but there's a lot of paint there, so there's plenty of paint to go off of both sides. I think we're just going to get a corner catcher real quick. I only have one little skinny corner catcher left, but it should work. I don't want to lose any of the sides. So let's turn it this way so that I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to put this, the corner catcher up against these sides here, but this corner here, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to leave it off so the paint can pour out that corner but not off the sides. 
I'll move it really super slow. Now, I don't know what I've got in this white paint, so I will go back, for those of you who are actually listening to the entire video, I will go back and look at the video that this white paint came from and see what all I've got in the white. And I will list the white below for any of you who are interested in that. Okay, so that's that. That's that corner. Alright. Well, I just don't know what to do with. Let's turn it back this way. Oh, it's really stretching. Those are really pretty. <laughs> I could drag it off this corner. We could go off this way with it, off that way with it. I don't really know. Those are super stretchy now. Oh, Abby. The dogs always decide they're thirsty when I'm trying to video. Sorry, guys. I know. A lot of you don't like listening to my doggies drink their water. I actually had somebody that asked me to put my dogs up or put the water bowl up while I was filming so the dogs can drink water. And there goes Thor. He's now he's got to drink water. Anyway, somebody asked me to put my my dog's water bowl up. And I'm like, sorry, I'm not gonna make my dogs go thirsty just because I'm filming. That's not cool. Oh gosh, I don't even know what to do with this, guys. I'm really just don't know what to do with that. Right, so we got the white off that corner. Let's get it off of this corner. This is very interesting, this white. Okay, so so really I'm gonna I will tell you guys as soon as I figure it out what I've got in that white paint because I really don't know. Oh, look at that. That is just cool. Look at how all that's just stretched that way. It's really cool looking. I wasn't going to cover this whole canvas, but this, I just, that, that webbing is just super cool. I know you're probably all screaming at me, but I'm sorry. I really am. Let's bring that back now. We're gonna have to take it off of that other corner too. Now that we've taken off of all the corners, got to go off that that last corner. Okay. Oh wow, this one is so cool! Can I see? Can I see? Whoa! <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> that is pretty cool, I must say. Okay, that's it. That's just, it. Just walk away from it, Mom. Just walk, walk away. away, that's right. I hate to torch it because the torching is going to bring up all these tiny little oh, white no. but you don't specks. Oh. All right, just a quick once over, really quick. Mm. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Watch your hand. I don't want to torch your fingers, silly. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, that has to be like one of the coolest paintings. I hope that all the, I don't lose all these lines because sometimes when your painting sits there, you lose a lot of these real fine lines. But I'm gonna bring you down so that before we before all those lines disappear, so you can see them. Okay, for me, this is one of, one for the record books. I absolutely love this. It is super cool. If you've seen like a lot of my earlier videos, if I ever get these lines through there, I always talk about how cool they are. They're like my favorite thing to come up in a painting, but you do lose some of them. Some of the colors squeeze out. The water, the the white will sink. Look at the way the colors just blended. They're so beautiful. And look at that. The yellow is like wavy. It's like little ocean waves kind of right through there. You see that in the center? Well, I'm glad I poured it to the to the edges. Look at those lines. <laughs> and up through there pink and blue and wow look at that and we did get some cells right there that came up those were I don't know from air bubbles or just from the weights of the paint wow I just am super happy with this one by the way this is on a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I totally enjoyed this one, as you might guess from all my, oh my gosh, and all my giggling. <laughs> um, yeah, this one is just <sighs> probably one of my all-time favorites by far. Super, super neat. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I want to thank everyone for supporting my channel, emails, um, purchasing my paintings, uh and my tiles and um i do have pendants available for anyone who um who likes to wear necklaces those are on my website which the link is below for that and if you'd like to support my channel my paypal link is below as well thank you to those of you who have been supporting me um, in whatever way you have been and for donating to my channel thank you from the bottom of my heart i love you guys you guys are my friends all over the world. And uh, if you would, watch the ads for me. I get a little bit of ad revenue. Those of you who are new to my channel, I get some ad revenue. And I'm trying to buy my house before I lose it. So, uh, yeah. Um, long story, but, you know, sad but true. We all have them. Um, that just happens to be mine. So, um, so yeah, anyone who purchases a painting or a tile or a pendant or whatever, all that money goes directly to my house fund. So um, any anything that you donate to my channel goes to paying for art supplies. So don't think that you know if you're donating to my channel, it's going to pay for my house because it's not. It's going to pay for art supplies. So um, because that's what this channel is about. You know, you guys support me, and I'm I'm trying to support you guys through teaching you some cool stuff to try I, I hope <laughs> that makes sense anyway I'm uh, rambling on so um, yeah I just I can't stop staring at this painting it just looks so cool so thank you very much for watching thank you for watching the ads for me all the way through um, you know only the YouTube creators know you know that we as creators get a small portion of the ad revenue. So I'm telling you guys, you know, your favorite artists, support them through watching their ads. Even if you can't donate to their channel, that's one way that you can support them. Um, and it, of course that's free to you. It's just a little bit of your time. So, and let me tell you, I've sat through some really long, boring ads, but I do it for, you know, the artists that I, I want to support. I feel like they've earned it. Um, so anyway, sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else <laughs> I need to say to you guys, but there's probably not. Okay, see you later, bye.